Right, I've got the um, base plate off, or whatever you call it. Um, there's quite a bit of um, so bronze metal filings all around the um, around the edge there. I see some bearings breaking up somewhere. Um, that rod there seems quite tight. This one here, it's got quite a bit of movement on it. I can't see it because my finger's in the way, but it's got quite a bit of twist on it as well. Whereas this one. Even when it's at the top, you can't really move it much at all. Whereas this one now, even though it's, it's even worse down there. So well, I think that that is what's been making all the noise. Is that back there and there? So yeah, and you've just on these. You've just got a main. Uh, centre bear in there, which does most of the work. You've got the one at this end, which does uh, take some of the load from the pistons, and the one this end is not. There's nothing really at all. It's just a little, just that little tube really. So it's only really two bearings. So I expect that centre one there has got a bit of wear on it. No, I can't. There's no real sideways movement on that. For some of that's 50 years old, I bet that's turned around, turned over a few times. Um, what do they do? At 1200 RPM. Times by, uh, I don't know, 8 10 hours a day for 50 years, I guess that's turned over a few million times. Well, I've got the centre bolt um, undone. That's where that little tube that just sits on. That just sits on there. You can still see the oil. I don't know if I can't really see this. There's lights in the wrong direction, but just about to see a few bubbles there where the um, gas is still coming out. And that was pulled down to a vacuum as well. Alright, so that's that out. Yeah, you can actually see how long that um, centre bearing is. It's quite a big, big bearing. The windings don't look burnt really. Right, let's see if we can get the old uh, front shaft out. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I think they just uh, push out. There's a cut out if I remember rightly. I usually end up getting my fingers stuck. That's it. Then we've got the first one out. You have to wiggle other rod over the second bearing. There she 
Anyways. I think there's a cut out. There it is there. Somewhere. There. There we go. We missed all that. There we go. Yeah, there's quite a few score marks on that one. Should just be able to lift them out. That's a uh, that's a good one. I'm not sure, if, I think the whole thing's bronze, I think the whole rod is made out of bronze. Which is probably why it's lasted so long. Little brass bits on the end there to stop the pins running inside of the balls. Uh, yeah, you can see the wear in there. Compared to that one. Got a nice groove all the way around. So that one there, it's worn away. Worn away to nothing, yeah, you can actually see there just where oh, it's not quite round. Yep, so that's the one. That's quite rough as well. And the, uh, it's quite a bit wear on the um, gudgeon pin on that as well. I don't know about this one. Uh, it's not quite as bad. Right, let's flip this over. Sorry. You can just about make out there's a hole there and the same on the other one. And I think that is from the suction port there. It's probably like a bleed hole for um, any oil to get back in the sump. No, that's what that's for. There's probably another bleed hole at the bottom. It looks like there's a little bronze strainer in there to catch any crap. What's going on? I might be worth having a look at that. Right, I've got the uh, suction valve off. That's a little um, bronze. Uh, Mesh filter, it doesn't really, uh, a few little bits in the bottom there, but there's nothing really major in there. So we just see a few little bits of copper, I expect, from when it was um, first put in. Mm. On that there, you can see the cutout, that's a little cutout there for the bearings on the um, crank to get out, pass out through. Take them out of there. Yeah, you can just about see in the bottom. That's a bleed hole in the bottom for the um, oil to get back into the sump. Mm. That's about it, really. So, 
So it's failed because that bearing's gone. That's the other thing with these. I think these little bits here for dipping into the um, oil in the bottom, like a little splash feed thing. I'm not, I'm not too sure whether they've actually drilled all the way through or... Mm, don't know. But the newer ones, these are made of aluminium, the um, corn rods, which is why they don't last as long, I think. Mm. 